Hello YouTube, LukeDude5 here, and welcome to a redstone tutorial on how to make an automatic reed farm with pistons and some redstone circuitry. So I'll just explain how this works real fast. Every 10 minutes, these pistons will uh, expand like that and destroy the reeds and push them into the water and then they will float down here. And then when there's reeds down there, that light will turn on, but that's just a little nicety. And then it'll restart. So basically, this dispenses an item, and it takes two items that this dispenses for these pistons to extract. But I'll explain more about it when we're building it. And you get about 10 to 30, I mean, 6. That's kind of lame. But uh, the reason I only got 6 this time is because I actually extracted a few times before so I could reset it and yeah but some of them do fall on the ledges and that's just something they have to deal with so you can't get all of them anyway I actually made a few more of the machines and it's not that big that's actually really big and it doesn't need to be that big anyway to start off you want to place three blocks and on the right side far right side put a dispenser and on the far left put a redstone torch Oops, and then connect those. And then, two blocks away from the dispenser, put a pressure plate, and then you can just surround that with stone. But you want to leave one gap here for redstone. And I'll just go three high, and I'm going to turn this into glass, so just so I can see better. Okay. So you want to connect the pressure plate to the torch, and then you want to put some cobblestone or dirt or any, any, any item in here that you don't really want. So when we stand on the pressure plate and get up, an item is dispensed. If we take that item, another item is dispensed. And items in Minecraft that are dropped on the ground like that, they expire or they go away every five minutes. So in five minutes, that, that item will disappear and a new item will be dispensed. So we're going to use this to our advantage. So on the other side of this redstone signal, put a block, put a torch on the other side, and connect it with redstone. So it's just a simple inverter, and now we're going to make the heart of it. Okay, so you want to extend out two blocks, and then put a redstone repeater going to the left. And right here, we're going to make an AND gate, set in the time of day. So, this is an AND gate. Actually, I guess this could be called a NAND gate, which is basically just the opposite of an AND gate. Anyway, when both of these torches are off, this torch will be on. So, I'll explain more about how this whole thing works later, but right now we're just kind of setting it up. Okay, and then from. You want to extend this from the repeater, you want to just go this way, then turn right and you just make a RS nor latch. So basically you just put a block like that, put a redstone torch on the opposite side, make a block diagonal, put a redstone torch there, and then connect the torches. And that's an RS nor latch. So if we reset this, it's already reset, you can see, and when it's on, this side will be on. So we want to connect this side to this side of the end gate. So to do that, if, if we do this, you see it connects to that torch, and we don't want to do that. So we can just use a repeater, and then put a block up, and then you go two up. And I'm actually going to turn on super pick. So when this signal is on, it'll actually activate that repeater and this torch. And you want to set that repeater to four ticks. Okay, so now I just want to connect this redstone out a little bit, because that's where it's going to be going. And when this connects right here, you can just put a block over it to stop it from connecting. Okay, so now we have to connect this redstone signal to right here. So that really shouldn't be too hard. Just a little bridge. Like that. Oops. Okay, so it should be connected. And somewhere in here, you actually want to put another repeater and set four ticks. 
and this isn't needed to extend the signal length but it is needed for something else and I'll explain all of this in just one second so the output from the AND gate this torch right here you can see it extends right here and we just want to connect this to another RS NOR latch wrong place so just put the torches on the opposite sides and there's another another RS NOR latch so reset it and when it's reset the power should be on this side okay so the final thing I want to do is connect the reset uh, reset parts of the RS NOR latches to the correct places so we need to connect this side to this right here and I'll do that first so we're just going to go underground a little bit with this and we're just going to go right through the RS NOR latch and you can just connect it like that okay and you actually need a repeater in here because it doesn't go the full length okay so now I'm going to use some world edit magic to magically set that all to stone so now that that's set we need to connect this side of the second RS NOR latch to this redstone right here anywhere along this line and that's pretty simple we can just make a little bridge over this and if that happens just put a block there to stop it from happening okay so I don't think this is long enough so you should put another repeater in there because remember redstone only travels 15 blocks and repeat a repeater will repeat that signal another 15 blocks okay so now I'm going to explain how this works okay so basically when the item from this plate disappears after five minutes this torch will be activated and it will activate the side of the AND gate like it just did and it'll also activate the side of the RS NOR latch and when the side of the RS NOR latch is activated this side of the RS NOR latch will turn on and when this side is turned on you can we can follow it over here and it'll complete it'll provide power to this to this torch forever but by the time it provides power to this torch this side of the torch will already have gone off so that's the first five minutes and then when it disappears again it will provide power again but this time this torch is already off because remember in RS NOR latch the power will stay on forever or until it's reset so with this torch off this will turn this torch off and it'll in turn turn this torch on both torches off equals that on and this will activate this RS NOR latch and when this output is activated this is what we're going to connect to the pistons so it's been five minutes already and I'll just speed things up by taking this item and when I take that item that side should turn on so we can see this side turns on and if I take it again that'll simulate a new five minutes starting that side turns off after five more minutes that side will turn on okay so now we want to connect this side to the pistons and that's fairly simple but first we have to make a device that will send a rapid pulse and then stop to basically make the pistons go out once and then retract so to make it just connect this this side of the RS NOR latch just bring it out one and then put a block and skip two and put another block and then on the first block on the right side put a torch and then on the second block on the far side put a torch and then on the block with the torch on the right side make sure you're facing the other block and put a repeater right there and set it to three ticks now we just want to connect this torch right here like this and make sure you connect it over the top and if that happens put a block there to stop that so now when this is activated it'll send a rapid pulse here and it will activate basically we're just going to have it activate pistons so like this okay so right now I know that it hasn't even been five minutes yet because this side of the RS NOR latch isn't on so to speed this up we'll take this block 
And now I know it's been five minutes because that side is on, but this side of the RS normal latch is not on yet. So to speed it up, we'll take it again. And we can see the pistons go out and retract really fast. Just enough time to destroy the reeds and to push them into the water stream. So that is the whole device. And now I'm just going to go in, go over the basics of reeds. And in case you don't know how to plant them and stuff like that, I'm going to go and go over those basics. So in order to plant reeds, you need dirt or sand. And you also need water. So give myself some of that. And I forget what reeds are. It's actually called sugar cane, but I like to call it reeds. And of course it starts raining. Okay, so you need dirt, you can't plant on it, or you, or you can use sand. But even with dirt, I can't plant them. So what you need is actually you need some water. And now that, that, now that there's water right next to it, it will let me plant it. If there's water diagonal, it still won't let you plant it. If, it. if this is above a water block, it still won't let you plant it. So make sure there's water right next to it. And then you can plant it. And when you're using the pistons, make sure you're using it like that. If you use it one below, then it'll destroy the source block for the reeds, and they won't be able to regrow. But if you make them like that, when the piston extracts, it will destroy the top two reeds, and the bottom will still be able to grow back like this. And you can do it again. And yeah, so make sure you destroy only the top two blocks, not the bottom. And for this part, you can just set that to water and then you can basically just make a canal and it'll make all the stuff flow into the and through the canal so all the items you get from here will be popped into this canal and flow through and so this right here you can use this you can connect this to as many pistons as you want and on both sides because as you can see over here I have it on both sides with a three water channel and here are actually some pistons I mean some uh, reeds so I'm going to store all the current reeds that I have in my inventory. And I got 19 reeds. So it, it usually varies, as I said, anywhere from 10 to 30. So it's it's a pretty good drop. And this is with uh, 12 on each side, I think. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure this is 12 on each side. So you can literally make it as long as you want. As long as you add repeaters, if it gets over 15. Um, anyway, as I said, this can also be sand, sand or dirt, and I hope this helped you. Leave a thumbs up if it did, and share it around, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.